it's another week and that can only mean one thing another ghost adventures episode let's watch it review it and get on with it this week they're at the weatherford hotel Flagstaff, Arizona. I can feel those who came before us following close behind. Who is watching us as we are looking for them? And you see an old building and just something makes you lock eyes with it. And when that building knows that you have some type of ability to connect with that other spirit dimension, the sound is deafening and that's exactly what is going on here in flagstaff arizona at the weatherford hotel guys Ooh, let's go henry rockmark was by all accounts an upstanding citizen when he checked into the weatherford hotel in october 1912 but soon he was ranting and raving at entities only he could see Wow. He was so terrified he drew his gun and fired three shots. Bang, bang, bang. But what was he firing at? The sheriff was called, but Rockmark continued his rampage. Oh, wow. After Rockmark began firing at the lawman, the sheriff shot him dead. And whatever haunted him is still inside this building with his spirit. And it is that energized chaos that is causing havoc on the staff and people who check in. And this is the reason why the Weatherford Hotel has reached out for help. To hear about a man that was shot and killed in your lobby right here by the sheriff, what does that speak to about the spirits here? In history, it, it's, it's exciting, but in the moment, it's scary. <laughs> How can you own the hotel and not know any of the history of the Have past? Had a bottle which was up on a shelf, and it was you know pushed back. It wasn't hanging off the, the end of the shelf. It just spontaneously drops right down and shatters. Oh wow! Just showing CCTV. TV footage now. Looking around, uh, the doors were all closed. And wow. There were no vents up there. Debunked all these things one by one. So I still have no non supernatural hypothesis for what happened. That's good. Good footage. The place in the mid 70s, the ads for the place they were advertising, you know, just for like weekly rates. Oh, shit. You want me to call 911? Someone falling over. Okay. Uh, uh, Ambulance turned up. Of Drew's interview, one of my crew members collapses without warning and hits his head on a chair. First responders arrive to take Ooh. his vitals and can find absolutely nothing wrong with him. Gavin, who sometimes operates camera during our interviews, is very confused and scared. I guess I asked him. Fell back, hit a chair. Wow. Lauren is especially shaken by what has just happened. Gavin's like rarely ever tired, let alone pass out. Yeah. So it's, it's weird. We decide to drop everything and immediately investigate the basement where our crew member collapsed and where Henry and Sam have felt a negative energy that Sam believes killed their dog, Mona. Maybe it's still down there. I begin with a polterpod session in the area where our crew member was struck down. What is the name of the spirit that attacked our crew member? Well, I got a whip. Uh, you guys. What? This went to like, like, like a seven. It's right in the corner. It's where, in the corner. Where that happened to him. Yeah, it was right in this area. He's a trifle meter. A reading of seven. It stopped the GoPro from recording. No, the battery's fine. It's still full back. I don't think we should say that name again. Dude, that's weird. What bro. is it? I'm not saying it. Say it. No. Say his name. Algonon. Algonon. 
We move towards the darkened utility Aaron's GoPro camera and I bring out the turned itself off. I can see you breathing. He's got this weird vision of this guy. He's going... <laughs> when I say that, I have to speak it. It was a weird image. Back there in the corner, I just got this... What's that? I just got really bad stomach pain. Jay's feeling just poorly. Like a stabbing pain just suddenly right here. A little red spot there behind your ear. You can feel it, man. Red marks behind Jay's ear. At the same time that I have a disturbing vision of a man breathing heavily, Jay feels intense stomach pains and receives what might be a scratch mark. It's getting longer. It's getting longer. It's growing down it's his something. neck. Oh, God, it's getting yeah, way yeah, more red. Wow, there's spikes like crazy. For real? Are you serious? High trifield meters what? spikes. 15, 15, wow. 13, 12, 14. What is that? That's where you were standing, right? Yeah. Did I do that? I never saw anything on the wall like that. As you can see, there were no marks on the wall before Jay was attacked. Was that wow. all? Wow. Do, do you have black stuff on you? I don't think so. There's black marks on the yellow wall, like deep bruises, burn marks, yeah. I burn marks on the wall where I was. That's weird. Look at Jay's eyes. Look at Jay's eyes. Like Jay. I just felt something grab my fucking wrist just now. Billy. I swear to God, it felt like someone like just squeezed my fucking wrist. It's in that room, I told you. I saw him in there, he was going. I had a vision of that. Henry wants to kill Jay. Henry wants to kill Jay. That's what Zach just said. And I think acknowledging that historical revelation tonight may have done something to the spirit of Henry. Henry. He's coming back. And also He's coming to get him. It could be a night right of very high side. activity so <laughs> and personal attacks by the looks of it so far. And stay on high investigation alert. I've never seen anything like that. Wow. It's a strange know, it's light it's orb. Not any type of flying insect. Yeah, an insect will look like a rod. With right. like a spiral going or like a corkscrew around. Which it. is the wings exactly going. So this is not in any shape it's a, of that at all. Half of a toilet roll. A cardboard insert of a toilet roll. Could be further evidence of something here not wanting to be filmed. Oh, I'm sure they don't. I think there's something very serious going on in the basement. For sure. Jay got a mark on his neck. I have a really bad feeling. I think something here is really pissed off. Time for lockdown. Expose it. Ooh. What was that? What was that? We're just about to start and they can hear someone upstairs. Who's upstairs? Somebody's up here making noises. I heard like someone's walking around. They're yes, like, yes. Yeah. I heard a bang too. Is somebody upstairs? Got lots of cameras we have cleared the all over it. Guests for the entire night. We are the only living beings in the building. Ooh. Is somebody up here? What was that? It was a lady's voice. Mm. Is somebody up here? Ooh. That's what it sounds like. We now head to the room where we heard the female voice come from. Hello? Will she come back? Is somebody in this room? We number, heard your voice. Number 42. Well, that looks like a person. Zach's taking uh, thermal pictures, what? still pictures. That's not there now. Are you serious? Yeah. Did you see that? Right there. Look at, do you see that? Like, what? what is that? What is that? What is that? What is that? As I was taking pictures with the thermal still camera, I noticed this strange figure or form. It looks like a floating angel. Oh my god. Crazy. This is going to blow you away. Watch that spot. 
There's nothing there. What? There's nothing there. Oh. Who the hell was that? Somebody was just in that photo. Let me see. Weird. That looks very, very good. You see that? Oh, I just got drunk. <laughs> Legs, arms, dress. Does it look like, like a lady? Yeah. Like she's doing a little pose. Like this. Yes. Wow. This presumed figure is also blue on thermal, meaning its temperature is cold. He receives this. What is that? Algernon. Algernon. Evil. Evil. I thought. I thought it said there's people. I think they're reaching the people. I can, you can hear the P at the end. Aaron's going mad. Go back, yeah, could do it again. Billy captures a figure standing in the exact area where I captured the spirit on thermal. This is okay. so amazing. That's the exact same place that is it always a spirit though? If they get a figure on, on an SLS or an XLS camera, that's the question. Oh, it's sat down on the chair now. Zach was feeling something. <laughs> Wants to enjoy it. Yeah, I'm sure you do. <laughs> wow. What just happened on the second floor was mind blowing and compelling at the same exact time. You can hear bells like on the trolley. In the corridor. Wow. Send Aaron, yeah, why not? Where's Aaron blessing? What the fuck? What happens here? As Aaron gently nudges the door, something then forcefully pulls it open with aggression. The fuck was the Looks fuck like it's punched. Now watch as my full spectrum camera captures these two anomalies come from down the hallway. As they reach wow. the door, one splits off, turns 90 degrees, and goes into the room. As the other one That's impressive. That's a weird ass. light source. We are blown away that not only a spirit told us about the mop, but now we capture that very obvious. mop being forcefully and unexplainably knocked down in an empty room. That's held up on like a washing machine. It looks like it's been pushed. On a locked off camera. So Zach's down in the basement on his own. And some metal objects seem to be moving in the kitchen area. Wow, didn't last long, did he? We now head to the back room and hallway area where during our interviews, Jay felt as though he was attacked and where I had the vision of a man bent over, breathing heavily. Algernon, did you attack our crew member? Algernon, are you in the back room? You're trying to cover our cameras on? Give us a sign that you're... Look. Bill, come get a shot of this right now. What? This was full battery. As soon as you said his name, look at the battery. All the way down. 
Aaron's battery is near enough dead. As I'm walking towards the camera, Billy's filming Aaron in Jay's at Nerve Center. Something either gets thrown or falls off a shelf and chaos ensues. Again? Aaron can't get out there quick enough. This oh, very wow. large screen that was standing upright with the other ones is now on the floor. Aaron, it was like a whirlwind over back around so there's a large the rectangular screen, screen that seems to have fallen down or thrown. Aaron and Billy immediately turn on the polterpod and receive a name for who they believe is responsible for this. Who are you? Marcus. Marcus. In what may be one of our most compelling investigations, who are you, Marcus? Wow, crazy. So, there we go, guys. Another episode Ghost Adventures completed, reviewed. Pretty good episode, to be fair. Lots of bangs, strange, strange light anomalies. They were very weird. And very direct responses on the spirit box when asking questions. So, yeah, the feelings that they were getting, Jay being touched, the cameraman fainting when he doesn't normally faint. It's a very, very good episode. So, yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. I will see you next week in another episode. See you later.